What fans, this is Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today I'm bringing you a review of a huge improvement from the historical French sports watch brand Yamaha. I believe this watch will set a new standard for what this brand can deliver, and they have made some really great improvements to this watch. So it comes in this black cardboard box you open. I really like the packaging of Yamaha, not too much, not too little, because inside you actually find this nice leather travel case here, signed Yemma. You find the manual, you see they have a history ranging back to 1948, and here you find the warranty. So the cool thing is you get this travel case in leather, so you can always use it for this watch or other watches. And the watch I'm going to present to you today is the brand new Yemma Superman 500. This is a new revamped, reworked version of the most popular watch, the Superman, which was a historical type watch, which kind of also was the watch that revived Yemma from their slumber. Now they worked on the new Superman 500 and they made some great improvements. And here we have the new Yemma 500. This is the version called the Mysterious Blue. They make a blue version, very dark blue, and then a black version. You can choose between stainless steel bracelet, rubber strap, or a nice leather strap. They only produce 200 examples of the first run, which are numbered on the back, on the case back, and then I believe they will start to have a regular run. I actually like this watch so much, this is just a review unit going back to Yemma when I'm finished reviewing this watch, that I purchased my own example, because I think it presents some really, really nice features. As you see, it's a note date, vintage inspired dive watch, this is what a lot of brands are doing today. We, for example, see it with the Tudor Black Bay 58. Also a brand like Oris with the Oris Diver 65 and a lot of other brands. The cool thing with Yemma is that they are actually just remaking their own designs because the Superman is their own design and has been produced for many, many years. Getting up closer here, you see very vintage inspired and typical of Yemma with this kind of shovel second hand with the red little dot there. Then you get the kind of arrow pointing minute hand and almost kind of their own cathedral style minute hand. Then the simple sword style hour hand, very simple dial. I really appreciate the fact that they didn't make any silvery rings around the hour markings. They're just like printed on, they are filled with Swiss loom, of course, because it just gives a much more vintage inspired and flat and simple look to this watch, which I really think is the charm with this watch. You also see it is a no date version. It's actually housing the Yema in-house caliber 2000, which has 42 hours of power reserve and is a high beat movement with 28,800 rations per hour. I have been a little critical about these Yema 2000 movements because I never actually got the accuracy that they are supposed to deliver. They promise between plus or minus 10 seconds. But when you look at your screen now, but when you look at your screen now, I get perfect accuracy between plus two and three seconds with this movement. It's great accuracy. And before I give you more details about this watch, this watch is priced at 1,190 euros, dollars or Swiss franc. The currencies are almost the same at the moment, but you can sign up for the loyalty program and get 10% discount very easily. I paid 1,071 euros for this watch, which is approximately the same in US dollars. The watch also comes in two different versions size-wise, because this is a 39mm version, you can also get a 41mm version. So you get 38.9mm I measure in diameter, then you get 48mm from lock tip to lock tip, then we get a thickness or height of 13.8 millimeters, it wears much slimmer than this. I'll show you when I get it on my wrist. And then we get a annoying lock width here of 19 millimeters. Yemma also did provide me with the rubber strap. It feels amazing, extremely soft, nice quality, and you get a deployment buckle as well. So if you don't like this stainless steel braided style here, you can definitely go for the rubber strap. I think it will look really, really cool. I never actually from pictures and videos cared much about this Yemma stainless steel bracelet, but experiencing 
this bracelet now, it's top quality, it's so comfortable, and I really like the vintage look that it has. So being called the Yeme 500 also means that this watch has 500 meters of water resistance. And as I said at the beginning of the video, they did a lot of improvements to this watch compared to the regular Superman version. One of the improvements is the bezel lock and the bezel system here. This is patented by Yema and it's a very historical thing for Yema that you actually get this bezel lock. So with regular dive watches you just turn the bezel, but you're not actually able to turn the bezel unless you unscrew the crown. Then you also release the bezel lock system here, and then you can turn the unidirectional bezel, 120 clicks. Compared to the other Yema watches I have reviewed, one of the improvements is the bezel action. It feels amazing. It is an aluminium bezel insert with blue, very dark blue coloring. A real dive watch bezel because you get all the hour markings, minute markings, and a little line here for every minute, so you can count 60 minutes. I must say, huge improvement with the bezel action. It feels extremely nice. Top quality. One of the big improvements, in my opinion, with this watch. It feels like a luxury watch. So now I have turned the bezel and if I don't screw in the crown, I actually still got 30 meters of water resistance because Yeme designed the crown to actually provide water resistance if you're forgetting to actually screw in the crown. But I only get 500 meters of water resistance when I actually screw the crown all the way in. It is only one position because it's not a ghost position. This is a no date Yeme 2000 movement. You can also get a date Yeme 2000 movement. So now I can set the time. You see hacking manual winding. One of the huge improvements is the crown action. It's buttery smooth. Also very smooth winding the watch. And now what is happening is that I screwed the crown all the way back in and then the bezel lock system actually holds the bezel in place. I cannot turn the bezel. One of the huge improvements is also the crystal in my opinion. It is a more resistant double dome sapphire crystal on this watch than on previous versions. What they actually did was that they actually reduced the crystal by 0.3 millimeters on its height and then they made it wider with 0.6 millimeters. So you actually get a little more flat, although it is, of course, you can see a domed sapphire crystal here, very vintage inspired. It's more flat, which takes off the height of the watch and also just gives a better distortion and you're actually able to read the time at different positions of the watch. A huge improvement, in my opinion, is also the case finishing. You see high polish, and is high polish a huge improvement? Yes, because if you compare to other Yema sports watches, this is my personal Superman Heritage GMT. You see the case is very boring, it's very toolish, industrial, and that's fine for some watches, but I think when you move into the premium segment and you want more than $1,000 for a watch, you need to do more with the finishing, and you can just compare it. You can also see that the locks on this watch, although this is also a 39mm watch, they appear slimmer. So all in all, I think the new case design here and finishing of the case is a huge improvement. So a loom shot, of course, the loom on this watch is Super Luminova Swiss Super Luminova Grade A, and you see we get amazing loom. This is true dive watch loom in my opinion. It looks really, really good. I really like the bracelet here, as I said earlier in the video. I have always avoided this bracelet when ordering Yema watches. I have owned four Yema watches myself, but I actually really, really enjoy this bracelet. I'm happy that I got to try it on this review unit because it's so comfortable. It's really thin. It feels amazing on the wrist and I actually like the look now I have been wearing it. So you get these kind of four parts. You get the outer part brushed, then you get the two inner parts which are polished. It's kind of a their own jubilee style bracelet somehow. And again, female endlings, which just makes the watch wear much better on the wrist. It is push pins, which is a bit annoying, but still easy to adjust. And then the clasp is definitely the weakest point of the watch or the bracelet in my opinion. It is secure, it's sturdy, you get four micro adjustments, which is really nice, but it is very simple. And when you move into the luxury segment, or entry-level luxury segment within dive watches as Yema do with this Yema 
Superman 500, I think they should definitely do something with the clasp. So something in the future for Yemma to improve on is definitely the clasp. So you get a fold over and then you just open with friction here. It's not stamped, milled, so everything is good in that department. And then you get a dive watch extension that is well made. It's no kind of stamped cheap dive watch extension. Very easy to use, but for micro adjustments, that's a good thing because you can find a really nice fit. I found the perfect fit for me. And here the typical beautiful Yema case bag. I like how they made it in two different kind of coloring and finishing. It looks very, very aged and old. This dark coloring here, the engraving of the beautiful Yema logo. And then you get all the information. You can see French made. On my 17 and a half centimeter wrist circumference, I think this watch wears amazing. It feels really good on the wrist. And I think a huge part of that is definitely the bracelet here because it's so soft, it's so flexible, it just feels great. And I actually now enjoy, and when I get this watch, my own example, to have a bracelet which is nothing we see on other watches. So definitely a super nice vintage inspired dive watch from Yema. Some improvements should be made. Definitely look into maybe making ceramic bezel inserts instead of stainless steel or aluminium. Look into actually making a better clasp. That is one of the big things in my opinion. Better clasps. So all in all, I can definitely recommend this watch. I think it feels like a thousand dollar watch or a thousand euro watch. They are definitely moving in a better direction with Yema. So I hope you enjoyed the review of this Yema Superman 500 Mysterious Blue. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, give me a thumbs up for this video, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and you can visit Yema by clicking the link down in the description if you want to see more about their watches. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.